Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team and I thought I would weigh in on what's going on with the real estate market as of October 2022 here. Uh, we just got our numbers from um, uh, the end of September 2022 from Toronto Real Estate Board, which are kind of interesting. Uh, definitely, I'm a big picture thinker, so there's lots more than just sort of what's happening in this very minute. Uh, but year over year, detached has gone down about 10%. Semis are a little less than that, maybe seven. City of Toronto and condos have actually gone up. They're on the plus three and townhouses are sort of uh, holding their own. So that's uh, from, from September 2021. Uh, what that means is it's a huge opportunity for buyers, especially move up buyers. Uh, you know, you're going to be selling your condo or townhouse and you're going to be, uh, you know, getting the benefit of, um, of a little bit of a softer market. So, uh, you know, I know a lot of people sort of hold on and wait and not sure and what should we do now. And the reality is that nobody has a crystal ball and uh, nobody thought uh, the market could go up as high as they did. I, I'm you know, about five years ago, people were saying, this is the peak, this is the peak. And of course it wasn't. Um, so uh, there's that uh, definitely great possibility. And of course, if you're selling and you did buy a while ago, long time ago, or, you know, more than a few years ago, you've just gained a huge amount of equity and, uh, you know, lots of gain there. And you can make those special dreams come true and move to wherever you're thinking about moving to or in, you know, out of town or a special, smaller town or wherever you're thinking. Uh, is your next big uh, step. You still got a lot of benefit from the last number of years of, of increase of increases. Uh, another opportunity, of course, is the rental market. You know, the rentals are much, uh, you know, rents are really high right now. And uh, if you buy an investment property, of course, you're going to be able to lock in some pretty good rents there. And if you're buying it for yourself, um, get a, a, a home with some uh, rental income in it, like potential, potential basement. Uh, we've got a great listing right now that is two fabulous owner suites if you wanted. And, uh, you know, you could have that good high rent and uh, pay off that mortgage and really take advantage of that part of the, mar of the market right now. Um, so that's another sort of thought for you. And then another one would be uh, you know, I mean, big picture, think about long term. So a lot of our clients who, you know, experienced a 2008 uh, downturn, nobody knew how long it was going to last. And there was a lot of media very similar to right now, a lot of booing, you know, negative stuff. And the reality is that all of those people who went against the grain uh, really won out in the end, you know, the, the market bounced back in a big way. And uh, who knew, none of them would know. Uh, could have known and uh, I just remember a lot of them just really really happy about it and uh, it's pretty so as I say it's it's kind of an exciting opportunity there um, so you know another one is in the real estate news like in the numbers that came out um, active listings so there aren't a lot of new listings compared to last year at this time but there's a lot more available which basically means that uh the market's slowing down and there are things on you know for sale and uh and if you're looking around our team can definitely help you out in all of this stuff because there are good value deals out there some really good quality homes and great locations and neighborhoods that are you know top notch and, and close to uh you know public transit or, and shops and, you know, sort of great school districts and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, you can negotiate again. And how great is that? Um, so that's hasn't happened in a, quite a long time. And also, it just means that you've got choices and you've got um, time. Just don't try not to be swayed by, you know, the media that is very sort of all over the place. And, and just remember what your dreams are, because as I say, uh, some really great properties are on the market and, um, and available and ready for you. So lots of good options for as a buyer and as a seller. Um, as I say, that move up, uh, moving up from the condo or the townhouse to uh, detached, you can really take advantage of that too. So, or a semi, um, so lots and lots of potentials we've got great mortgage brokers for example and uh you know credit unions don't have that stress test so this is a time to think about that so we can give you some tips that you might not know and then another thing would be for example um interest rates to fight the you know the inflation that keeps on 
going here, uh, Bank of Canada is talking about another incre increase. So maybe now is a time to jump in while you have that lower um, pre-approved mortgage. So get in there now, get it pre-approved, and then you're gonna, you've got a number of months to look around and lock in. And over time, again, you'll make up a lot of uh, the market changes with a lower interest rate. So lots of options all around. Hope that helps.